Hey everybody, we are back. Uh, Mike and I are here for a little challenge. Uh, we're calling it the Lone Star Disc Challenge. We're basically playing with nothing but Lone Star Discs. Uh, Mike has a, uh, uh, what do you call it, putter bag? Bag. Bag uh, with them, filled with like eight, nine, ten <laughs> of these uh, Lone Star Discs. Plus I have one that I got from uh, Chris Bardyes. He's got one from Chris Bardyes as well. Uh, Mike has an extra penny putter I'm going to use, but we're going to share the whole bag and we're going to do, uh, do you want to just do a regular round? Yeah. Scramble. Scramble. Regular round. Okay, yeah. Scramble. We're just going to do a regular round of disc golf here and uh, the only one I, I have experience with is this, so I'm going to learn a lot about these other discs, so uh, let's go ahead and go. Sweet. Yep. All right, going with, no surprise, my Mockingbird. Okay. All right, that's not bad. I'm going with my easy to find curl. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, tree. Oh, goodness. <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, gonna go ahead and throw the mockingbird again. Let me try to use a little more hyzer. I, I thought I used hyzer, but I think I threw it flat. There you go. There we go. Uh, okay, well. Come back, come back, come back. <laughs> Woo. Woo, it's You're gonna safe. Be close. Uh, all right. Wow. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna lose my mini and all that, so I'm just gonna <laughs> <laughs> do this here. I'm doing it again. You got a good distance out of that one, though. Yeah. Try this without hitting that tree. There we go. Oh, wow, nice. All right, number four. Ooh, don't go too far. We'll, <laughs> we'll see. I think you didn't use the jackrabbit. Oh my goodness, good job, <laughs> sir, birdie. Good putt. All right, good go with the Bravo harpoon. Oh. Ooh, that disc likes trees. Yeah, well, your lies in bounds, so that's good. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to throw Mike's ace disc and hopefully not screw it up too badly. <laughs> there we go. Oh no, I did. Oh no, it's rolling. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Well, let's try this again. Oh, no. Uh, so you can tell we're still trying to dial in <laughs> uh, these discs. Oh, I wasted that birdie. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. I really wasted that birdie. Yeah. <laughs> Just keep it in bounds and go five feet at a time and you'll be <laughs> yeah, on this hole. Good. Yeah, maybe before we did this challenge, I should have done a little... Uh, throwing with these myself. Oh, nope. I'm going OB2. I mean, that was all me, though. I, I threw with way too much hyzer. That wasn't the putter, so. Um, I have a jackrabbit and a Bravo harpoon. Okay. Which one? I'll try Oh, those. yeah, you, you're playing from up there. Never yeah, mind. Yeah, yeah. All right, so that was my second. This is my fourth? Yeah. Okay. Oof. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, that looked good. So that I think was mine for five, and this is yours for six. Yeah, I can tell because of the plastic difference. All right, uh, I'm gonna try this more overstable mockingbird. Then I'm gonna try that just for giggles, just to see what the other mockingbird is like. See if I can tell the difference. Oh, 
Maybe I did something. Okay. Yeah, you did something. I did something. So that's uh, there. So uh, I'm just going to do a standstill. I think I'm screwing things up with the cross step. There we go. Okay. That's more what I expected. Still, I screwed it up. I'm going to try this alpha harpoon. I probably should be using the, th the Bravo because it's a little bit of a headwind. Well, you crossed over, even though it kicked out, but it may have landed on land. We'll have to see where it's at. I don't know. All right, I'm going to try to use this disc one more time with a little bit less. I think I kicked that. There, there we go. go. That's more what I expected. See, that acts like my Leopard does, maybe a little more stable. Yeah. That one should be a little bit more stable than your Leopard, and yeah. your other one should probably be about your Leopard. Got it. So we discussed it, and this is... Uh, better place for the lie because we don't think it quite crossed over it and, didn't cross over yeah and it, to, yeah it had unfinished business yeah <laughs> i'm gonna call this the stay in balance challenge <laughs> uh, yeah <laughs> there we go yeah don't think about it just do it yeah <laughs> So real talk, I opted not to go with the scramble for this because I thought, well, this mockingbird I have is close enough to my leopard. I should be able to throw it just fine. And I haven't dialed into it. So this is turning out to be a lot more painful for both of us, really. Yeah, a little headwind. Uh, uh oh. Yay. <laughs> it's just like your intro. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. There you go, Nick. There we go. It's going to come back. Woo. That was pretty good. I didn't hit anything. That's basically my challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna aim right at the telephone pole. <laughs> and I hit the tree. Ah. Uh, yeah. Ooh, that looks good. Hard. Oh my goodness. Iron leaf. I'm gonna need this extra foot. <laughs> ah, okay, no. maybe I wouldn't. <laughs> maybe I don't. Nice. Guess I want to put me in. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Yay. All right, I'm going to try to throw this flattish, and I'll review on video if I actually succeed. Nope. Wow, I went OB way up there. Oh. OK. That worked out pretty good. Yeah, it's in bounds. <laughs> well. right, I'm gonna try this uh, BB6. Oh no, oh, Not, okay. This oh, bear. the basket's over there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it looked good. All right, here's uh, number four. Get it? Yeah, oh. almost. <laughs> oh no. Uh, wah, the yips or something. <laughs> uh, I, I didn't commit to that. Uh, I guess I tap us in.
Thanks, sir. I don't like this new layout here. Yeah, same here. Uh. Oh my God. Wow. We can't get a break here today. There you go. Let's get through, get through. <laughs> Woo, close enough. <laughs> All right, there we go, got a, got a putt. All right, oh geez, it's right where I wanna throw it I'm lo is looking into the sun. Oh, get in. Oh. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, might as well. It's a tap in, even for me. <laughs> Thanks, sir. <laughs> I'm gonna keep trying uh, this disc because I've thrown this before. It's the only disc I've thrown before. We're gonna make it work. Yeah, I'm gonna make it work. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that is that is what I expect. So That's I'm do I'm dialing in. <laughs> it has been a month or more since I've thrown it, so maybe that's part of it. Well, there's road and trees <laughs> here. There's also a basket, and that's our ace disc. Oh yeah, you got a putt for birdie, that dude. It was long. <laughs> All right, I had good luck the last time I was here with the putter, so <laughs> I'm gonna try to... Oh no, I did not throw that well. Okay. Uh-oh, it's tree nide. Yeah. All right, this will be four. I don't, does this seem to have the same glide as your AVRs? It's about the same, it's very comparable. That one does. Oh no. Good job. Hmm, every time you putt for me, I get a bogey. No, I'm just kidding, uh -huh. or more. <laughs> I learned it from watching you. Yeah, <laughs> I learned it from you, Dad. Midi. Try this midi from Chris, Chris Barr. Barr. Oh, it turned over ah. and hit a tree. Keep working on the smocking bird. Oh no, I threw it too low and with some Anheuser. Sorry, Chris, we didn't do a good job with your discs. <laughs> There we go. That's more close to what I would expect. Yeah. Nice. Heck yeah. See, I think the penny putter is a lot closer to a Luna. Yeah, I think so too. Putt's great. Got a BB-6. Uh, another tree. Another tree, yeah, something we've been doing a lot here. There we go. That basically flies the way I expect it to, so. Okay, I'm back to normal. <laughs> yeah, they fly better when they don't hit trees. Yeah. Uh, probably should have just thought. Doesn't matter, I'm gonna hit a tree. No, I think that's, oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, that was literally right in front of it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> About 40 out, I guess, something like that. You got this. Oh, oh just so, <laughs> so close. Good job. 
Yeah, every time you putt for me, you, oh, I got a par. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, he... Well, let's fix that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no! It's one. Yeah, there we go. How'd I get a triple bogey? Well, you see what happened was. <laughs> That was your midi? Yeah. Got it. All right, I'm gonna throw the Mockingbird again. I'm probably gonna throw this most of the time simply because I think I'm more used to it and it's more like my leopard. There we go, that's basically what I expect. Oh, that looks good. Really good, I like it. About 30, 35. Ah, not quite. Uh. Ah. Drat. Ugh. Yay for efficiency. Looks like you got a birdie putt. Uh, <laughs> or you have a putt. I think it's a little short. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, might as well try the same thing. This may be, all right, this is my first forehand with the Mockingbird. Let's see how it plays out. Okay. okay. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, it rolled a little bit. Okay, it's in the fairway. Looks like I'm about 80 feet out. There we go. Oh, that looked good. There we go. Nice. Woo! I like those a lot better than those du doubles. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, standstills are hard, <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> As a guy that stands the hills all day, that is hard to do. Look how off balance I was. <laughs> Why? Too soft. Try not to screw up the upshot, the putting upshot, the putt shot. <laughs> Ooh, a little too high, but it's safe. Nice. Yeah. This is challenging enough for me to actually <laughs> try. I'm not giving you this one. Yeah, don't. <laughs> bounds at least they're out of bounds about the front of that truck well um, well I made it across <laughs> technically you're in bounds uh, over there okay <laughs> that'll work <laughs> that'll be more interesting anyways that's what the audience wants to see is more interesting shots uh, I'm sure there's nothing on this video the audience wants to see <laughs> yeah all <laughs> the, right the audience wants to see the end of this video yeah <laughs> they're like hurry up all right I'm gonna try this curl in uh, alpha plastic bravo oh bravo plastic okay there you go, Nick. Yay. Definitely a little more stable than my Mamba. Probably about my, like my Mystere, I would guess. Yeah. Must be nice being in the fairway. Yeah. On this hole. On this hole. It's just what I need is step on that pine cone and roll an ankle. <laughs> Tree. Yeah, okay, it's in. All right, looks to me like I need to throw it again. <laughs> yeah. 
<clears throat> oh, a little too high, a little too high. Okay. You're still in the middle. Yeah. All right, I'm whipping it out. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. I didn't hit a tree. <laughs> Ooh, geez. Okay, yeah, this is about another 200 feet. So I'm gonna try this mockingbird. There we go. That's what. Ooh. Oh, look at that. You know what? All things considered, I'll take it. You might want to bag that one. Yeah. I can't even see the basket. <laughs> Nope. All right, I think this is my fourth. <laughs> it's for par, Nick. For par. Okay. About 25 out. Oh, I didn't get, ooh, oh. I did give it enough, okay. <laughs> nice. Here, I'll put this, this is, <laughs> Not a gimme. <laughs> you missed. No. Oh, that wasn't yours. <laughs> All right. Yay. Oh, uh, man. There's a tree. Mm -hmm. I will hit it. <laughs> uh, can you give me my uh, your midi for real quick? I want to try that as, with the forehand. I got a midi for you. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully I can be a part of the birdie club. This is my first throwing of the midi, and of course I'm throwing sidearm. <laughs> I uh, leaked it too late. Well, at least yep. yours came back. Oh! <laughs> <sighs> great, great run at oh. it. Wow, Nick, that was a really great throw. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was actually a little worried about that because that's the farthest I've putted a penny putter yet. <laughs> what you guys are seeing are, is my entire experience with most of these discs. <laughs> Good job. The other experience you don't want to see. Yeah. <laughs> so at least compared to the Rock X3 I have, I think that MIDI is just a little bit more stable than that. Oh, I didn't quite do that right, but that's not bad. You got a good skip. Yeah. Let's see if we can keep this out of the road. <laughs> That's your BB6? Uh, yep. Ah, uh, good cut roll. Oh. Of course, I got to hit a tree. <laughs> Where? Twenty-five, third, thirty. Yep. Oh, nice bird. <laughs> nice. Okay, I got a putt. <laughs> you and your bounces. <laughs> yeah. See, now I'm developing a rapport with that, uh, similar to my leopard, so that's high praise in my book. Oh, 
I should have thrown it more to the left. That worked out not too bad. Oh. All right, let's get a delay of the land. I'm about 25, 30 out, closer to 30. Yep. Oh, turkey. <laughs> gobble, gobble. Gobble. <laughs> Still going. And apparently, so am I. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> I'm gonna try this curl, and if you don't try it, I wanna try the buoy, buoy? <laughs> I wanna try that, I wanna try to okay. do that here. So, anyways. Um... Oh, look at that. There we go. That is what I expect of my champion Mamba, so that's a high praise for it, actually. Nice. Here, I wanna get this on video. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna do the bo bowie. Comment down below, how do I pronounce this? I know you can't do that, it's text. All right. Whoa. <laughs> and I tried Anheusering that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yep. Okay, so that is a utility disc in my hands. Oh man, it is so overstable. Holy crap. How did it hit that tree? No, I'm just kidding. There's no tree. <laughs> Wait, it didn't hit a tree. What, what's going on? What's wrong? <laughs> oh, no. That's, oh, nice. That's good. Well, somebody's getting a par. Woo. Oh. I didn't want to jump putt. Oh, it's good that you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm a good 15 feet out. 14 feet out. I think 13 and 3 quarters. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, don't camera putt. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Nine feet out. No, I'm just kidding. It's more like 12. Nine and 3 quarters. Yeah. <laughs> But this this curl has been really good for me. Oh yeah, love it. That's a gooder. So good. Which one is that? It's Chris's Mockingbird. Nice. And I'm OB. Why? Oh no. Tree. Uh, this is a really good throw for me on this hole. I'm gonna use this uh, with the curl. I'm gonna use this uh, BB6. Yep, that's good. Oh, I threw it. Uh, oh. No, it's close. Oh. Just put all that stuff down. Yay! So you think you're gonna bag any of these? <laughs> Maybe the the uh, penny and the uh, mockingbird, because they're very similar to this. Not the curl. Ooh, nice. In hindsight, Mike and I should have teamed up in a scramble to give us more leeway when we're playing. But to be fair, he offered and I was pushing really hard for a solo round. And it just took us a little time in the first several holes to adjust to the discs. Uh, for me, my biggest problem early was throwing my Mockingbird fairway driver. It was a tiny bit more stable uh, than an end of a leopard in my experience. But for some reason, I kept turning my wrist on the drives, so it kept flipping over. 
and that's one disc I have experience with from Lone Star Discs, uh, and I do like it a lot. Uh, I figured it out by around hole five, <laughs> and uh, from then on, it got me a birdie on hole 15 and 16 and multiple pars. Another disc that stood out to me was a penny putter in baseline plastic. Uh, that's what I use for putting, and it feels somewhere between a Discraft Luna and Discmania P2 for me in their baseline plastics. I also like the BB6 mid-range, and it's not quite like anything that I've personally thrown before, and I just regret not throwing it more. If I wanted to get distance with the mid-range, that's the one I would choose for the Lone Star Disc lineup. The MIDI was nice and stable, and I think it favorably compares to some of the top overstable mid-range discs on the market, uh, and it's my first choice for a sidearm disc. The Curl was a great overstable fairway driver for me to throw, and it actually helped me with my accidental Anheuser release angles as I turned my throws into <laughs> flex shots with it, uh, and it basically fought the turning of the disc as it left my hand, and then it basically faded decently towards the end of its flight. Now the Bowie, or buoy, <laughs> I had no business throwing unless I needed a utility disc for certain shots, like going around a corner or getting a skip on an upshot. There were a few discs I didn't throw, and in hindsight, I should have tried them out when I could have. That said, I hope that you liked the video. Mike and I had a lot of fun playing with the nearly complete lineup <laughs> of Lone Star Discs as of the recording of this video. And it just goes to show you that these new disc manufacturers are coming out with new molds that are unique yet comparable to a lot of industry favorites. They're a local company to me out of Conroe, Texas, just north of Houston. I hope that you liked the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already as I have more videos like this coming up in the future. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.